Apple hasn't touched the Apple TV in three years. And then suddenly out of nowhere, they're preparing the biggest upgrade since 2022. But this isn't really about streaming or picture quality or even performance. It's about control because Apple has already conquered your pocket with the iPhone, your wrist with the watch, your desk with the Mac. There's only one major space left in your life they don't fully own, your living room. And the next Apple TV is Apple's plan to take it. Not by forcing you, but by making the TV the easiest, smartest, and most personal screen you've ever used. So today, we're not just talking about a new streaming box. We're talking about Apple's attempt to make your home part of the Apple ecosystem permanently. Apple is no longer competing with Netflix, Roku, or gaming consoles. It's competing for the center of your digital life, and the living room is the last space Apple doesn't fully control yet. For many of us, the Apple TV has been quietly dependable. A small matte black box that connects your TV to Apple's services and the rest of your devices. Yet beneath that familiar shell lies an opportunity Apple has been quietly refining for years to make the television not just another screen, but the central hub of a smarter, more personalized home. This next model, according to reports and leaks, isn't an incremental refresh. It's a strategic device meant to make tvOS, Apple intelligence, and Apple's ecosystem feel like the natural center of daily life. The first big change you'll hear about is the wireless brain inside the device. Apple's N1 combined Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip, the same networking chip introduced in Apple's 2025 iPhone lineup, is expected to appear in the Apple TV for the first time. This N1 chip brings support for Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 6, and Thread, which together promise lower latency, better reliability, and more resilient smart home connectivity. In real terms, that could mean smoother 4K HDR streaming, more responsive airplay, and far better performance for multiplayer games and cloud gaming on Apple Arcade. Those connectivity details are not Apple rumor fluff. Apple's own iPhone 17 specs confirm the existence and capabilities of the N1 platform, and they tell us exactly what the chip is designed to do. Under the hood of the device, the performance leap may be even more dramatic. Sources close to Apple's supply chain and reporting outlets indicate the new Apple TV will move from the A15 Bionic, currently used in the 2022 model, up to the A17 Pro family of chips. The A17 Pro is built on a 3 nanometer process and brings a serious jump in CPU, GPU, and neural performance, including hardware-accelerated ray tracing and substantially faster neural engines. If Apple ships the A17 Pro, or an A-series equivalent, tuned for tvOS, the box suddenly becomes not a mere streamer, but a gaming and AI appliance capable of console-level graphics and on-device intelligence. Multiple recent rumor roundups corroborate the A17 Pro as the likely candidate for this refresh. Why does that matter? Because the A17 Pro does more than render prettier pixels. It enables new classes of on-device computation that Apple is calling Apple Intelligence on-device models and context-aware assistance that can run locally, preserve privacy, and integrate tightly with a user's Apple ID and content. Bloomberg reporting and other sources suggest Apple plans to extend its revamped Siri and Apple Intelligence features to tvOS, letting your Apple TV anticipate what you want to watch, control your whole home, and respond to natural language in ways it never did before. That would change the Apple TV from a passive display to an active conversational companion in the living room. Connectivity and local AI together create a big UX win. Wi-Fi 7, in theory, offers multi-band aggregation and much higher bandwidth than today's networks. Thread brings resilient, mesh-style smart home messaging that lowers latency for connected devices. Put that together with the A17 Pro's AI horsepower and the Apple TV is now capable of low latency multiplayer, high quality local inference, and a smoother, more connected AirPlay experience. Yes, real world internet speeds remain shaped by your ISP, 
but these improvements mean the Apple TV will be less limited by wireless noise inside your home and more capable as an on-device hub. Another rumor that keeps resurfacing is the idea of a built-in camera. Apple added FaceTime integration to tvOS a while ago, but until now, you needed an iPhone or iPad to act as the camera. Reports have indicated that Apple has prototyped Apple TVs with cameras and even gesture recognition, the ability to accept simple hand movements as input. If Apple ships a camera, it would simplify TV-based video calls and open new use cases for fitness, HomeKit interactions, and accessibility features. At the same time, a camera raises privacy questions Apple will have to answer carefully. Historically, Apple prefers to design hardware that gives users obvious control. Think physical shutters, hardware LEDs, or tight on-device processing, and we should expect similar safeguards if the camera arrives. Current rumor coverage indicates experiments have happened, but the company may still be deciding whether to include a camera in this particular refresh. On the software side, tvOS 26 is the companion story to the hardware. The update brings a refreshed liquid glass user interface, more personalized profiles, and features like live captions, FaceTime posters, and improved app login flows. It also deepens integration with Apple Music and Apple Arcade, and adds APIs that make the TV feel more like a platform than just a client. Critically, tvOS 26 has been designed with Apple intelligence in mind. Deeper personalization on Wake, context-aware recommendations, and new tools for developers to tie Apple IDs and authentication across devices. These refinements matter because the experience you get from hardware is only as good as the software that drives it, and Apple is pushing tvOS to be smarter and far more personal than before. There's also a business angle we can't ignore. Several analyst reports and leaks from reliable Apple observers have suggested that Apple may reprice the entry model to be more accessible, with repeated rumors pointing to a potential sub-$100 target. The idea is clear. By lowering the entry price, Apple can flood more living rooms with its hardware, lock more users into the ecosystem, and expand the addressable market for services like Apple TV+, Arcade, Fitness+, Plus, and Apple Music. Industry analysts like Ming-Chi Kuo and outlets such as Mac Rumors have discussed this strategy repeatedly. Whether Apple lands precisely at $99 or somewhere nearby, the move would be a deliberate push to make the Apple TV a commodity gateway to recurring revenue. Expect Apple to weigh hardware margin against long-term services revenue when making that choice. All of these changes, connectivity, compute, AI, and price point to the same strategic thesis. Apple wants the living room. Historically, Apple's focus has been on personal devices that follow you phones in pockets, watches on wrists, laptops on laps. The living room is a shared space, an area of the home Apple has never fully owned. By making the Apple TV both more powerful and more affordable, Apple is attempting to convert shared screens into personalized experiences without losing the social center of the TV. That's a different kind of dominance, not commanding a device in your pocket, but shaping how your family consumes entertainment, communicates, and interacts with the smart home. There are obvious questions about whether consumers will care. Gamers already ask whether Apple Arcade can compete with Xbox or PlayStation. Cord cutters wonder whether another Apple device will truly change their viewing habits. But Apple's approach is not to outcompete a single rival on a single feature. It wants to make a device so integrated that Apple services and experiences become the path of least resistance. If your Apple ID, your music library, your photo memories, your smart lights, and your Siri assistant all converge on the TV, you gain convenience. And many users will prefer that convenience, even if the gaming library is smaller than a dedicated console's. The practical reality of adoption will also depend on carrier and app support, developer enthusiasm, and whether Apple can deliver on its promises for local AI. Apple intelligence running on tvOS could be a game changer if it can offer truly useful, low-latency features that respect privacy. 
Imagine a TV that recognizes the people in the room, surfaces the right streaming profile, auto-adjusts lighting, and offers contextual recommendations without sending all your data to the cloud. That is the tightrope Apple is walking. Adding intelligence while protecting users in an era increasingly sensitive to data collection. Finally, the new Apple TV will be a test case for Apple's broader hardware strategy. If Apple succeeds in building a low-cost, high-performance device that supports on-device AI and a new wireless stack, it will validate years of engineering investments, custom chips, atomic levels of integration, and the shift toward model-driven features. If it stumbles either with supply constraints, pricing missteps, or disappointing software, Apple will still have a powerful platform to iterate on. The company has always been willing to play the long game. The Apple TV 2025 refresh looks like another move in that strategy. So what should you expect when the box lands? Expect a familiar shell, but a far smarter heart. Apple's N1 wireless chip for better home connectivity, an A-series leap to A17 Pro for games and local AI, TV OS 26's more personal interface, and the repeated whisper of a sub $100 price point to accelerate adoption. Perhaps you'll see a camera, perhaps you won't. Apple will only ship what it thinks it can make secure and delightful. But whether it's camera or not, the key is this. Apple is trying to bring your living room into the same intimate orbit as your phone, personal, anticipatory, and built to keep you inside its ecosystem. If you're upgrading, look for these concrete signs. Faster menus, more fluid gaming, smarter Siri responses, reduced lag for AirPlay, and expanded Apple Music and arcade features. For everyone else, watch how Apple positions the price and whether services deepen the lock-in. Because the next Apple TV isn't just another piece of hardware, it's Apple's next attempt to be where you live, watch, and connect.